um, had a spontaneous idea. I wanted to hop on and talk about drum loops. I got, get a lot of questions about drum loops. Um, I would say it's close to the second question I get asked the most. Um, other than I have a video on YouTube that's about how to teach parts as a piano player. And I've never redone it um, because I was able to, <laughs> to do it so well the first time. I guess I'm overthinking it. So if you guys want me to do something about teaching parts, how to pick out parts on the piano, how to teach parts as a piano player, I can. I'm going to talk about drum loops today. I'm curious. Um, I'm, go I'm doing this spontaneously live. So I want you to guys to ask questions as you're hopping on. I'm curious, Larissa, do you guys play with drum loops? Do you know what a drum loop is? Um, I, I'll kind of play some for you if you guys are on, um, if you are on, um, Facebook, you'll be able to see me and, and the piano a little bit. Okay. So I have, I wish there's a way to show this where I could hide email addresses. Hey, Shepard. Hey, Charity. Okay. So here's what a drum loop sounds like. Can you guys hear that? So this is for every praise. Praise is to our God. Every word of worship. Every praise. Okay. So I have a whole folder of those. I use a program uh, called Box, which is very similar to Dropbox. And I just dump all of the drum loops in there. Um, but I like to use a website called Loops by C-Dub. And it's actually Loops by C-Dub Mobile.com. Let's see. I'm going to show my screen for those of you that are on Facebook. I won't be able to do this on Instagram. But I will also upload this video to YouTube. Okay. Um, so what I like about drum loops, I like to practice with them. It just instantly, I feel like makes whatever I'm playing sound fancier as you could hear. And, um, let's see how this works. Okay. Yeah. So loops by CDM mobile. If you click all loops, it has a little hover, uh, um, a little like, what's it called? Don't click any of the things that pop up. Just click all loops. And then you just scroll down. You find the BPM. So BPM is going to be um, the tempo of the song. So what you need to do, Planning Center has a metronome. Or you can use uh, just a metronome app. Tap out the rhythm of the song. So for example, every praise. Let me just see. How do I... So every praise is 104 beats a minute. So once you start using drum loops, you'll kind of get the, the gist of it. And you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to know that like 135 is going to be a faster song. Like your good might be. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth. Might be closer to 135. Um, okay, but here is the website that I use right here. So what you can do is you can just scroll down. And I just listen to the loop. So if I was looking for a loop that was 100 beats a minute, I would just keep scrolling. I'm reading right here where it says BPM. has the song title and then the BPM. Um, and do you guys play with drum loops? If you're hopping on, can you let me know if you play with drum loops or not? Do you know what a drum loop is? So here's one. It's amazing. It's a hundred and one beats a minute. That's a pretty good one. That's just a little sample of it. It's not going to play the whole thing. Okay. So then you could purchase the loop right here and from there just download it to your computer 
Uh, you could save it on your computer in a folder or you could upload it to somewhere like Dropbox where if you have several musicians, they could all access the drum loops. I think it's a great um, resource to have for your team to practice with a bunch of drum loops. Hey, Amanda. Okay, so I'm just going to play around with some drum loops. I'm going to show you guys what I have uh, and what songs I use them for. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm going to see. Okay, so for example, I have this song right here. Or I have a drum loop. It's called Time to Believe. Hey, Crystal. using it for this song uh I want to be a willing vessel of this so you can use I want to be a willing vessel the instrument you choose I want to empty up myself available to you let me be Okay, so that drum loop would also work for, let me pick a key that's not so high. Anointing. start my phone for some reason that fixes it while I keep talking to you guys that are on Facebook so let me grab my phone really quick okay so that's just an example of um, one drum loop that'll work for different songs okay so let me see let me see if I can find a faster drum loop I think I have so I just have I'll show you guys this. I have my um, drum loops in. Let's see. I think if I. Yeah, I can share this with you guys. I have my drum loops in a, um, a Google Doc. So see right here. So we just have. Um, the song title right here, and then we have the drum loop right here, and then the BPM, just in case for some reason we're doing a song and I'm like, what's the BPM on this song? And it feels like a little fast, for example. Okay, so all because of Jesus, we use a 135 loop. Probably that was the closest one we had, but it's really 132. So if we came across a drum loop that was 132, we might replace it for a different drum loop um, for this song, if it felt fast. Um, I also like that drum loops 
keep the pressure off of the drummer to keep the, like a drummer um, is there obviously to keep the rhythm, but sometimes, uh, I'm going to say a lot of times, I'm going to be bold enough to say a lot of times, the other musicians can push the drummer to get faster and it's actually not the the drummer's fault. Sometimes the drummer's trying to keep up with the singers and um, they're pushing him to get faster. <laughs> so it can be bass player, it can be a uh, keyboardist, it could be guitar player, somebody that's just playing a little faster and um, causes the drummer. I mean, the drummer is trying to keep up, right? He's not going to, he's not going to like, drag down the song and make everybody try to play with them. So that's what I like about drum loops. I'm going to put my phone back. Hopefully Instagram's working now. Um, is because it keeps everybody on the same page. It keeps everybody locked in. When you're locked into a perfect rhythm like that, then everybody, it, it changes the way you play. You play, hey, Holly, can you guys hear the piano? I'm playing the piano right now just to see if you can hear. It locks everybody in to play in a more syncopated way. You can't hear me. Hmm. Okay. Um, so if we were going to use a faster drum loop, if we were going to use a faster drum loop, like, let's see. Let's see. I'm going to see if there's something 135 in here. Okay, Gonna Lift You Up is 135. Shout It Out Loud is 135. Can you hear my voice, Kristen? Can you hear my voice? Greater things, we know that you are willing. Oh, I haven't played that song in forever. Greater things, what is an E? <laughs> Okay, so let's pull the drum loop up to this. Kendra, can you hear me? Can you guys hear my voice? Can you hear my voice? I don't know why technology is as it is. It's, thank you, Kristen. Mm. Okay, let's see. I'm going to pull up the drum loop. Maybe something just kind of got unplugged. Okay, 135. I actually have two 135s. Uh, let's see. Oh, guys, I forgot what song I said. 135 is... Kendra, you can hear my voice, not the piano. <laughs> okay, uh, let's try this drum loop. Is it working now? You hear the piano? Jesse, can you let me know? So if you didn't like that drum loop, if it was, if it was a little too bassy for you, then you could play One True Living God. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Holly. I'm sure this is a beautiful view you guys are getting of me. We're talking about drum loops, you guys. <laughs> so let me know if you play with drum loops, if you know what they're about, if you want help, all of that stuff. Okay, so this is um, One True Living God drum loop, which is... By Brother Miles Young, that's the song. That's the what this loop was for. But we'll use it for uh, greater things. that one um let's see 
we're going to look. I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing this here. Let's see. i got to switch my little camera. There we go. Okay, so I just searched 135, and I'm going to, okay, right there, look. Going to lift you up. It's highlighting the loops um, right there. You see the loops? Shout it out loud, 135. So then I'm going to go to, I wish you guys could see here. I'm going to get really fancy on Instagram. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay. Sorry for the professional quality of this live. <laughs> okay, let's flip it around. So here's my computer. I just have um, a Google spreadsheet. This is the song title. This is the loop and the BPM. I talked about earlier why I put the BPM, just in case we decide maybe the, the loop is a little bit different than the BPM, which is sometimes the case. We can always change it if we need to. But I searched 135, um, and I found that these two songs use the same loop, okay? So you could search in here the song title if you're trying to find out which loop was used um, with the song really quick. So I'm going to play Gonna Lift You Up with Shout It Out Loud. All right. So let's get you guys back over here. So... almost get away with having about 10 or so drum loops to start with. These loops are only 99 cents a piece, which is incredibly cheap. Um, it would cost a lot more to get them made. Uh, let's see. So I use the loop. So right here on... Um, Where's Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit. Oh, I just saw it. Right here. On Healer, we use the drum loop Holy Spirit. Okay. So see, it's 77 beats a minute, but I use a loop that's 78. Or it's 77. Did I say that? Beats a minute. I use a loop that's 78. Um, and I, I have that written there, like I said, just in case. Um, I thought, oh, is that a tad fast? Which one BPM isn't probably, I wouldn't even notice. But sometimes I... You know, sometimes I do. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's pull up that drum loop for Holy Spirit. So it's going to work for... There's nothing worth more could ever come close.
other song do you think would go with this drum loop? get the point. Um, if I use drum loops in church, I want to make sure that they will repeat. One of the reasons I like to use drum loops from C-Dub is they'll repeat in perfect tempo. I've gotten drum loops before from other sources that didn't. And so to be able to sing in a service where you're not necessarily going to block the songs, you want to be able to sing spontaneously and not have to worry about whether the drum loop is going to stop and go to a different drum loop. Um, always repeat it on your music app, repeat one song. You can do that on, um, I don't know if it's called iTunes or the music app now on the computer. Anyway, iTunes, um, Hey Heather on your computer or your, um, tablet. We use the iPad. Um, your phone also works, even though I would be so stressed to have my phone plugged into the sound system during church service. I would just be paranoid. Something would go wrong. (laughs) Something start playing. Um, but you can just plug those devices directly into your sound system really easily with um, just a cable. If you have a, it's, you plug it in like an instrument. So once you plug in your mic cable to your, to the, usually the plugs are on the floor or the wall, um, your XLR cable, plug it into a direct box. And then from the direct box, um, I would take um, a, a quarter inch mail to a eighth inch because eighth inch is what your headphone jack is on your device or if you need some sort of um, adapter you can figure out how to plug that into your your tablet if it doesn't actually have the headphone device in it computers usually do um, but that's the easiest way to plug it into your system it adds an extra instrument that is I just think it makes your music sound immediately polished without you having to um, do anything extra. Just make sure everybody can hear it, especially your, your musicians. That's super important because if, like I said, if your drummer is the only person that can hear the loop, but your bass player and your keyboardist can't, then they're going to be pushing the drummer and it's like a fight. So the drummer is trying to keep you guys on beat and maybe you're, you're pushing ahead like a half of half a beat per minute faster and it's, it, you're getting off the drum loop. So anyway, practice with them. If you have questions on how to use them, um, I'm here to help you guys. I believe in drum loops. I like even practicing with them on my own time. It makes me more inspired to practice because it sounds better. It makes my playing, I feel like sound more like I'm playing for church instead of just practicing. Sometimes a metronome sound can be a little bit, a little bit annoying if we're being honest. So, uh, I hope you guys use drum loops in your church. And if you don't at least use them to practice, they're a great benefit. If nobody's told you today, guys, I believe in you. You have what it takes to be an incredible musician. I'm so proud of you guys for pushing forward in your gifts. These are the gifts that God gave you. He gave you a desire to play, right, Stacy? And it's our job to steward that. So I will see you guys later. Bye, everybody.